What's up, y'all? In today's JJK Explained, we're going to be going over False Ghetto's plan that he unveiled in the season two finale. Now, I'm not going to be giving any manga spoilers. This is more so just a breakdown for anime onlys because it was a lot of information at once and it's really hard to kind of like not pick up on everything that's happening. So let's get into it. So the first thing he does is use Mahito's technique, Idol Transfiguration. And remember, he has this because he absorbed Mahito last episode and then used Mahito in his maximum technique, Uzumaki, which extracts the technique and allows him to use it. So he does this in a massive AoE and long distance version, which is why all these you know symbols appear in the sky. So he is manipulating people's souls on a massive scale. And there's basically two categories of people that he's using this soul manipulation on. The first category of people are those that have swallowed cursed objects. Now these are sealed cursed objects that have essentially been ticking time bombs within these people waiting for activation. As he's explaining this, we get glimpses of Megami's sister, who as we know has been under some type of curse for the entire show, passed out in a coma, and this symbol appears on her head. He also mentions during this time that he made binding vows with sorcerers from a thousand years ago that are coming to fruition. He does make an interesting note here too, in that the binding vows he made back then, he was in a different body, so technically, he's probably not held to them any longer. That brings us to the second category of people whose souls were manipulated. These are people that had cursed techniques but were not born correctly to use them. Just like Junpei in season one, Mahito used Idol Transfiguration on him and allowed him to utilize his cursed technique. That was done here on a massive scale. So we now have a ton of new sorcerers. Why is he doing all of this? Well, without getting into manga spoilers, we can only go off of what he actually says in this episode. One of the things is the Heian period is about to return. He's trying to recreate those conditions of the golden age of sorcery, where there were sorcerers everywhere, they were super powerful, and they were taking each other out all the time. So what he's essentially done is create a brand new era of sorcerers being everywhere, and he wants them to fight each other so that they can see the true potential of cursed energy. He's trying to see what that humans and cursed energy can ultimately become. What is their potential? So this was all a move to kind of set that up. So essentially, my man's been playing chess while everyone else has been playing checkers, and this was his first big move. Also, y'all, if you didn't notice, right when I hit 20k the other day, my account got wiped out, so I had to make a new one, so do me a favor, follow your boy.